welcome everybody. I'm Whamma Dave. And I'm Bad Bitch Kate. And normally you see me in the Aquagon, but we're going to bring you a new show this week. And from now on, we're going to be running through things like the Fantasy One Day UFC fights. We're going to be running over after the weigh-ins and checking our final picks right before the main event for the next day. So uh, we got Kate here. We're going to call it Bad Bitch Bets because she's always the best at betting. And here we go. I mean, we had a pretty good week last week. Uh, we nailed TJ Dillashaw. I gave people Macy Barber. You know, people might not have thought that you deserved that win, but I did every ounce of my heart. I really did think so. What do you think? Um, You know, I, I don't think she deserved it. Um, But we came out on top, so that's always good, right? Yeah, we made a ton of money. We were <laughs> live betting it right at the MGM Grand there. So we had a ton of fun. TJ, I think he did what he needed to do to get it. Get it done. Yeah, I agree. Um, some people said that San Hagen did more damage and therefore he deserved to win. Um, but I think if you look at it on a round by round basis, um, I think it's pretty clear that Dillashaw was the winner of that fight. All right, cool. All right, well, so this week we got Strickland Hall. Pretty good main event. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot of these people on this card. I'm super excited for it. I mean, there's nothing else really to watch on a Saturday night besides UFC nowadays now that they're doing it every week. So I'm not going to hate on the card too much. I'm sure I'm going to find a couple of fighters that I'm going to put in the notebook and have a lot of fun with in the future. And I think there's a lot of value to be had with the bets. Uh, any of the fights sticking out to you? Um, you know, like you said, there are, it's not the best fight card in the world. Um, but I mean, I think the main event is one that's pretty exciting um, one that I'm looking forward to watching, and also um, some of the people who are just kind of emerging from the Contender Series, um, like Bagdasarian, and um, who's he fighting again? <laughs> I don't know anybody on this card. <laughs> um, I know, I can picture him, I can't think of his name. Your phone's right there. Uh, you're right, you're right. Back to Syrian and Colin Anglin, that's who it is. Colin Anglin, oh, um, Michigan boy. Yeah, he's a Michigan he's boy. He's smart though. And is he? He's a Spartan. Oh, I didn't know that. My girl, bad bitch Kate's a Wolverine. That's true. So Go can blue. you still bet with him or what? He's still... Yeah, I can, I can still bet still from him. the state here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's going to be a good one. I think those two are both pretty promising prospects. But um, yeah, I'm going with England on that one. I think... Uh, what, what we got? Kosi? Kosi. Yeah, I, I remember watching him on the... Contender, Contender Series. Contender Series. Yeah. You know, him and his brother were real good wrestlers. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then these lower levels of MMA, like a prelim opener yeah. i think wrestling is very important i mean you can you can conquer a lot of skills or lack of skills with good wrestling yeah so i, I like him on that one mm -hmm. of course he but yeah i mean not too much to look in on like i said we're gonna do uh fantasy bets on this one i know a lot of states don't have uh sports betting and we do a lot of sports betting on the aquagon and uh even we'll talk about a little bit of sports betting today but let's do a you're really good you've hit what two Full main event cards this year on uh, DraftKings already? Yeah, yeah. Two full ones, so that's a, that's pretty impressive. And the good thing about you is it's not like you're putting out six, eight, ten lineups per card. I mean, what, do you do one lineup? Usually just one. One maybe, lineup. Maybe sometimes two, but... Okay, yeah. so when you're looking at this lineup, I mean, this is going to be the only one she put in. I think I put in a, a second one today, but I'm just trying to get started. I'm not very good at the fantasy, so I'm <laughs> going to let you take the lead on the fantasy. All right, I'll go ahead. So um, first thing I'm going to do is just walk you guys through my thought process as I'm picking a DraftKings lineup. Um, so I normally do captain mode. Um, so for this week, my captain, I have Sean Strickland. Um, so typically my thought process with the captain is I'm thinking who's somebody who's going to finish for sure. Um, and if I don't have kind of like a lock on somebody that I really think is going to finish their opponent in the fight, um, I often look at the main event because DraftKings, if you don't have a finish, your biggest place where you're going to earn points is from significant strikes. Um, and if you have a main event that goes five rounds and has people who are predominantly strikers, you're going to rack up a lot of points in that main event fight. Starts to make sense. I wish I was paying attention to that. Well, so what's your lineup look like? Um, so I have Strickland as my captain. All right, Strickland's the captain. Um, and then the other fighters I have are Colin England, like I just said. Um, Benoit. Garcia. Yaya and Paula. Okay, and then which one did you join on DraftKings on this one? Which DraftKings? Yeah, uh, is there different the names or something? 40k uppercut. 40k uppercut. Ten dollar entry fee. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, I've been having a little bit of trouble with DraftKings Sportsbook taking my money. Uh, FanDuel doesn't seem to have a problem with it, so I went on FanDuel. I went with the Octagon. Uh, you know, I'm thinking what was it? A nine dollar Octagon. 
Uh, they still do, it looks like the captain mode, I think they call it MVP mode. And I kind of, a couple things I like about the FanDuel is they have smaller salaries. So it's not like you have to do so much math. I mean, like the top person is like $25. Yeah. And so anyways, I ended up with $3 left in my salary. But um, I took Uriah Hall as my MVP slash captain. Uh, Benoit. Oh, that one's cut. Uh, DePaula. Romanian. Or how do you say it? Bar 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 Barbarina. Barbarina. And Garcia. And I switched out Jan with somebody. I can't remember. I'm not any good at this anyway, so I will not take your lineup this time. You say that about not having to do the math, but I don't really do that much math when I do them. Well, when you try to put your salary together and they have, you know, what are they, 2200 3200 what are they? I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, this is, so this, is, so my, this is my strategy. I pick my captain. Then I pick, like, two underdogs that I like, right? Mm -hmm. to, to try to, you know, keep my salary down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of, like, fill in the other ones. Like, pick, you know, somebody else that I think I feel pretty confident is going to win. Then you only have, what, two people left. So then I just kind of see where the number is, see where the average salary is, see how much, and I'm working out that price between two people, so. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I like that. Um, so, I don't know. I think the main place I'm going to be betting on this card is I'm going to be watching these people come out. Uh, you know, a lot of coin flip fights, a lot of even odds. I like to see who's looking more tenacious, who's got a cooler story when they kind of break down the fights right before. They normally put some good highlights in. You can kind of see if they're putting snaps on their punches and if they're going to line up well. You know, I feel like they hide a couple, like, secret little details right until they walk out. You know, you, you never heard it, but, you know, this guy's d doing some digging all week long on these fighters. So I like to bet right when they come out. Uh, I think we're going to be doing TikToks and uh, putting them out on Instagram all and uh, YouTube shorts all night long on Saturday night. Uh, we're going to be betting probably every fight. Uh, but the main fight I've been putting my money on right now is um, the main event, obviously. That's the only one I'm really liking. And I got Hall on this one. I like everything about him. I mean, his, his shins are so strong, they'll bust up calf bone. You know, it's, everything's good about him. What, what do you think about this main event? Yeah, I just think um, I just think Strickland's on the incline and uh, Hall's on the decline. I mean, Hall is is older. His last two he did win his last two fights, but his last two fights were the leg break against Chris, Chris Weidman and then Anderson Silva. Well, Anderson what? Silva's still a tough guy. I mean, he just went and won a boxing match versus Cesar Chavez Jr. I mean, he's not any slouch. He's a goat for a reason. I mean, he gave Style Bender all he could handle in their fight. And I just don't, Strickland, I think he is sloppy. I, I agree with him. You know, he wanted to make a show of, you know, calling people out in the octagon while they're fighting him, tell him to come at him. I mean, you can only do that with low-level competition. Mm -hmm. And Uriah Hall is not low-level competition. Mm -hmm. He's got the power, the explosiveness, and those kicks. I mean, I think the distance that they're going to be fighting at, his kicks are going to be a real big trouble for Strickland. Mm -hmm. I don't like Strickland at all in this one, especially when you're giving me plus money on Hall. Um, I'm going to rub this one in your face all day Sunday. When I'm right, and I'm going to show you all the money I made. Okay. What do you think? As long as one of us makes it, I guess. <laughs> any other? <laughs> did you have any other just straight bets that you were putting on for this card? Um, no, I actually don't. No, anything that you picked out out of the Wayans? I mean, they were doing the Wayans with the masks. I feel like the, the Wayans were kind of boring and yeah, unhelpful. you know, we got to watch the um the ceremonial Wayans. We we watched the just the normal Wayans and with the masks and. Yeah, you know, they didn't even put their names underneath the fighters. It was hard with this fight. But, I mean, I think it's hard not to look forward to the, the Derek lewis Ciro gone fight in two weeks. I mean, we're going to be shooting straight from Vegas next week um, and really, really hyping up that fight. I mean, a lot of bangers. I know Amanda Nunes got cut, but whoop de doo she's not going to beat the hell out of somebody next weekend. It would have been fun to see her, you know, roll out of the playpen with her baby, kick some ass, and then, you know, <laughs> make some airplane so sounds for her while she plays with her in the ring. But, I mean, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to lose any sleep on it. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a fun fight to watch, but, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the main event with Derek Lewis and um, Gon. And I think this is a really big test for Gon, you know. he uh, This is some elite competition. He's undefeated. Can he keep it up against the, the top competitors like Derek Lewis? We'll yeah. see. I mean, we're going to watch a ton of tape on this one. Uh, tune in next week. I, we're going to have the Aquagon back. The water's going to be back in the tub. Uh, 
we're going to be doing this Bad Bitch Bets every week. Come live to you straight from Vegas. So we're going to be having a great time. Uh, Bad Bitch Bates celebrating that 30th birthday. I know she looks about 18, but look at this. Look her. We got it going. The so, dirty 30. Dirty 30. So we're going to be partying up in Vegas, uh, watching that. Maybe have that, uh, what's that, Circa Swim? Yeah. Circa Swim sports book. So we're going to love it up. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to have the Aquagon next week. We're going to have uh, Bad Bitch Bets. We're going to be coming at you. We're going to be trying to hit you with a lot of shorts during the fights because we have just been nailing bets as they're coming out. Uh, I mean, if you don't like money, don't hit follow, but you're a sucker if you don't. Uh, thanks for joining us for this one. I mean, we're still working this out, so it should be getting better and better every week. And what do you got? Anything to say, Kate? See you guys soon. All right, show them that Good muscle. luck tomorrow. Ooh, wrong one. <laughs>